Hi everyone. In this session, I would like to guide you through the Invictus integration dashboard. I will start with a short introduction and then proceed with a demo. The Invictus integration dashboard is a monitoring tool that provides you with a simplified functional overview of your flows and BizTalk messages. The dashboard works on top of BizTalk 2010 or higher and is built specifically with functional key users in mind. The core capabilities of the dashboard are simple. We want users to be able to see the status of their messages, flows and exceptions quickly. We want users to be able to dig deeper and find messages easily based on their date, status or any other promoted properties. And a third core capability is message handling. This feature is interesting for more advanced or technical users. Depending on the rights that an administrator grants you, you will be able to click through to a more technical overview that allows you to suspend, resume, ignore, terminate or resubmit messages that are in an error state. Now I'm going to proceed and show you a demo of the Invictus integration dashboard. Once you have run the installer and went through the setup, you will be able to log on to the Invictus dashboard. There are three ways you can access the dashboard through username password, through Azure Active Directory, or through local Active Directory. After choosing Azure or local AD during setup, signing into the dashboard will happen automatically. In my demo example, I will opt for the first way and sign in through username password. The first time you sign in, after the installation of the dashboard, you will see that it looks pretty empty. That's because no flows have been created yet. Starting on the left and the sidebar, you will be able to create folders and add flows that contain the BizTalk messages. Optionally, you can also add subfolders to your folders. You can also see that there is a documentation tab. Clicking on this tab will open your browser and guide you to our online support and knowledge base. In the middle of the screen, next to the sidebar, you will see the flow statistics. In this screen, you will be able to monitor and keep an eye on the BizTalk messages that got processed. If you want to see more historical data on the dashboard, you can do so by changing the time parameter on the right side of your screen. And we also added the one minute auto refresh feature, but you can always opt to refresh the dashboard manually by clicking the icon next to it. In the upper right corner, by clicking on your name, you can access your profile and sign out of the dashboard. Only administrators will see an icon next to their name. By clicking this icon, you can access the user management screen. And in this screen, you are able to add, edit and delete users. Now I will go back to the home screen of the Victor's integration dashboard to create a folder and some flows. The first thing is creating a folder. To create a folder, you have to click on the plus button, define the folder name and hit submit. The next step is to add a flow to your folder. You do this by clicking on the three dots next to the folder that you just have created and then you get several options. You can add a subfolder, edit the folder, assign users to that folder and delete that folder, but you can also add a new flow to that folder. When creating a new flow, you first have to specify the flow name. Then there is a section mappings. Here you have to define how a flow and the messages it contains are stored and indexed. First, specify the port. A drop-down list will show up containing the receive ports. I'm going to choose the receive port receive order. This example receives a message file, contacts a web service and routes the response to a folder. Optionally, you can specify the property name, that's the name of a promoted property. This is an optional field that you can fill out in case the multiple flows are attached to the same receive port. Optionally, you can also specify the property value. That's the value of a promoted property. In the business properties section, each mapping type contains a list of fields of properties pertinent to that type. 
The only thing that you have to fill out here are the context properties that you want to appear in the result grid. In my example, those are order number, order date, and customer number. Once all the information is provided, you hit a submit button and a widget with the status of your messages will be created on the home screen of the dashboard. As you can see at this moment, zero messages have been processed and I'm going to run some messages through BizTalk and then they will appear on the home screen of the dashboard. As you can see on the dashboard, a total of 41 messages have been processed in the flow demo 123 that I've created before. 12 of those messages got the status completed, while 29 messages got an error status. As you can see, I also created an additional flow to visualize how it would look like if you have multiple flows configured. What you now can do is click on the flow in the sidebar or go directly to the messages that got an error status. In this demo, I will opt for the latter. What you now see is a messages results grid. You get all the messages of flow demo one to three that have the status error of the last 24 hours. If you want to change the results, you can click on the advanced search icon button and you will get more options. You can filter on date, time, status, and any properties you want. At the bottom of the result page, you also get the possibility to export your results as a CSV file. In the results grid of your message, you can expand the row to get more information about the actual error. In this example, you can see that the customer number is not known. If you want to handle this message, you can do so by clicking on detail. This brings you to a more detailed overview. On the left, you get to see the list of message instances that were being processed by the selected instance. The top table on the right gives you more information about the selected instance itself. In this screen, you can undertake several actions. You're able to ignore, view, resubmit, or email the message. In our example, the customer number was wrong. In this case, I'm going to click resubmit so I can see the message details. I'm going to click edit message, provide the right customer name, give a comment, demo test, and resubmit the, me the message. What you see is that the message was successfully resubmitted. Once you have all of this behind you, you can go back to the Invictus integration dashboard and continue what you were doing.